the government has claimed lot of technological developments in the nation in the last 5 years do you think that these developments has helped the rural indian population to improve their quality of living actually not not only with the rural sec- sector we can take into the urban sector and the government is not uh, spending much much of its money or much of its fund to the development technology development uh, we can take uh, an example of manual scavenging section though it is banned constitutionally still the death of manual scavengers or the, the death of sanitary workers and uh, who are working under the underground uh, drainages uh, sewage lines and all it is increasing you can see number of case studies though the government is opposing and government is saying no it is not actually happen we are banned uh, and all but it is encouraging in the uh, way of contractship if you take the sanitary uh, department most of the workers are contract labors only the contract labors are forced to do to clean the underground sewage system that is actually manual scavenging i can say that the definition of manual scavenging is itself uh, has its own flaws because exposing directly into the ma- human excreta is not only uh, is, n- is not alone the manual scavenging because when you uh, enter into the underground sewage line uh, the man um, is directly exposing into the uh, mixed of solid mixture of uh human wastages so in that way the government is also encouraging the manual scavenging in its part en- encouraging the contract ship contract ship in the sanitary uh, uh, section as i mean sanitation department in that way only it is encouraging the manual scavenging so government is directly encouraging the manual sa- scavenging is one point second i can say that the direct drastic fund cut if you take the 2014 budget they have spent uh, 494 crores nearby 494 crores for the uh, improvement of technologies in sanitation department uh, last year 2017 uh, the budget shows that it was drastic cut only 5 crores see the number 494 nearby 500 crores to 5 crores it was drastic fund cut so this government is not at all supporting any technological improvement or any technological development to uh, stop this practice or to save the rural uh, workers to save the um, poor workers who are engaging into this job i'm feeling very bad and i i feel a shame myself that the state tamil nadu is top it has 147 deaths last year 147 manual scavengers had died but the government is actually saying no we have we have banned the practice they are not at all manual scavengers then who are they they have they have uh, died due while working under the um, uh, while working into the underground drainages sewage lines and all so um, i can say that the central government as well as the state government both are all not at all concentrating to improve the technological part you can take uh, uh, kerala as a good example they are uh, at least they are developing robotic technology to ban this practice it is a state government and that state government is allocating fund for the development of uh, robotic technology to ban this practice to end to stop this practice in that particular state why can't you as a central government you have to force no you have to focus no because you have deaths in delhi you have deaths in bangalore you have deaths in chennai you have deaths in uh, gujarat you have deaths in all the metropolitan cities all the top capital cities of india so you have deaths you have evidences you are seeing it but still you are encouraging this practice why because this government is completely partial partial with the caste system partial with the minorities and it is inter- it, it is imposing this kind of jobs particularly to the dalit if you go for the survey if you conduct a survey and if you see the list you can't find even one upper or one banias or one upper caste people into this job which means this is not a de- decent job and the people the people who have engaged into this particular job are still waiting that the government should do something for us if you go and ask them that they say we have nothing on our hands and we have no skilled and uh, um, as a, as i am i am belong to this particular community i am made for this they are believing they are what to say they um, unawarely uh, unawarely they are accepting their vulnerability they don't see that this is a vulnerable this is a social discrimination they don't see that they see they say that we are made for this it's okay fine at least the government should permanent this job and should make this job permanently this is very dangerous you have many health risks you have many health risks in 90% 96% of the women exactly 96% of the women who are engaged into this manual scavenging work got sickness they have skin diseases they have hepatitis they have meningitis they have many viral diseases which they doesn't know 
I have a, I have many case studies as a researcher on the same field, uh, on the same uh, domain. I have many case studies in Tamil Nadu, especially 12 municipal corp corporations. All the munis municipal corporations we have visited, we have clearly, directly evident uh, that this practice is continuing in the name of sanitary work. But actually, they are contract labor, they are engaged themselves into the self-help groups and they are working into it. They are working directly into it. So overall, I can conclude like this: so the uh, central government and the state government, uh, which is which is thinking only the um, development of the corporate or development of the um, uh, beneficiaries for them, for the fu funding agencies who are all funding for the for them to the elections and all. They are concentrating on them only, not to the downtrodden, not to the working class, not to the dalit, not to the minorities. They are completely biased with the minorities, with the dalit, with the with this kind of work working class group. So how can um, if if these per, um, kind of perception they they keep they keep continuing, how will they spend money? How will they allocate fund to stop this practice, to ban this practice? India is still still continuing this practice. I can evidently say this. And how can you call your nation is developing? That's the only question I am I am posting today to the central government. How will you say that your nation is developing? One side, your people are dying by doing this filthy job. So make make. Uh, uh, all the sector, in all the sector, so many uh, what to say vulnerabilities are happening, are, are continuing because you are not developing your technology, you are not allocating fund to the new inventions, new technological inventions. Please do that and make every job as a decent job and provide social security to all the youth, to all the citizens of your own nation.